Hello, I'm Sunny Virmani. AI may improve outcomes for many diseases and conditions, perhaps even prevent some. Today, there are about 415 million diabetic patients in the world, and each one is at risk of vision loss due to a terrible disease called diabetic retinopathy, also referred to as DR. We spoke to one of our key collaborators, Dr. Kim Ramasamy, with Arbind Eye Hospital in India about the disease before a pandemic. Diabetic retinopathy is a condition which affects people with diabetes. In the early stages, it's symptomless, but that's when it's treatable. So you want to screen them early on before they actually lose vision. In the early stages, if a doctor is examining the eye or you take a picture of the back of the eye, you will see lots of those bleeding spots in the retina. Today, the doctors are not enough to do the screening. We have very limited ophthalmologists, so there should be other ways where you can screen the diabetic patients for the diabetic complications. In the U.S., there are about 74 eye doctors for every million people. In India, there are only 11. So just keeping up with the sheer number of patients, let alone giving them the attention and care they need, is overwhelming, if not impossible. This is a huge problem. So we wondered if with the power of machine learning, we could train a model to read these eye images captured with a special camera similar to a trained eye doctor. This would allow clinics to provide access to eye care when there is a shortage of physicians. By partnering with visionaries like Dr. Kim and with Verily, we came up with a solution that we call Automated Retinal Disease Assessment, or ARDA. Using the same technology that powers Google Photos, we trained it to read retinal images that doctors had labeled for diabetic eye disease. This algorithm proved accurate, and we worked with the regulators in the EU to gain clearance in 2018. Since then, We've been working with clinics in India, Thailand, and the U.S. to see how ARDA can change the way patients receive care for diabetic retinopathy. Two of our key collaborators join us from around the world. First, Dr. Rajiv Raman from Shankaranetrale in India, and Dr. Paisan Romvi Boonsuk from Rajaviti Hospital in Thailand. Both of them have been instrumental in the development of this technology and are using it in their clinical settings today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to be with us. My first question is for both of you. Please tell us about your experience with ARDA so far and how does it change patient care for you? Let's start with you, Dr. Rajiv. Thanks for having me, Sunny. My research team at Shankane Trale a tertiary eye care institute in Chennai was involved in the initial development and validation of ARDA. We also assessed its performance in real time. Both these studies were also published. Since 2018, ARDA is being used across many centers in India, including our hospital, and thousands of people with diabetes have been screened for retinopathy. You can use it in two modes, in a fully automatic mode at places where there is little or no expertise to grade the retinal images like a primary care physician clinic or in an assistive mode at places where there are ophthalmologists but can use it to grade retinal images with more confidence and help reduce their overall burden in providing care. Thank you so much, Dr. Rajiv. Uh, now, Dr. Paisan. Tell us about your experience with ARDA in Thailand, please. Well, um, thank you, Sunny. We validated ARDA for adaptive retinopathy screening in a retrospective data set of more than 10,000 retinal images from patients with diabetes in all healthcare regions in Thailand. And we found ARDA to be more accurate in detecting adaptive retinopathy for referral to ophthalmologists compared to the trained graders who work as retinopathy screeners in Thailand's national screening program. Now, in our prospective study, this is another study, ARDA also provided screening results to patients immediately during their visit 
rather than having them wait for like weeks to get results to come back from remote ophthalmologists, as is the case in Thailand. Well, in this study, ADA was able to detect about 15% of patients screened who had vision threatening diaptic retinopathy and refer them to have treatment. Thanks, Dr. Paisan. Uh, we've been working with you for three years now. We know building an accurate algorithm is just the first step, and we need to fully understand how to deploy any new technology in the field. What are we learning from these early deployments of using AI for diabetic retinopathy screening in Thailand? Well, thank you, Sunny. That's a very good question. Well, um, I believe an accurate algorithm was only the first step. It is important for the success of ARDA to ensure a seamless integration into the clinic workflow, which we did with our prospective study. Well, we also have to recognize the skill of the operators, the screeners, and patient complaints at these clinics, which may impact the quality of images used by ARDA for providing the correct diagnosis. Well, we are in the process of understanding these challenges further so we can provide a kind of clinical viable end-to-end -end solution for the screening clinics. This will also involve a key step of getting regulatory clearance for ARDA from Thai FDA as well. Thank you, Sunny. That sounds exciting, Dr. Paisan, and we are really looking forward to working with you on that. Now, I have a final question for you, Dr. Rajiv. What does the future of ARDA look like in India? India is a home for approximately 77 million people with diabetes, with the prevalence of diabetes being higher in the southern part of the country than in the other regions in India. Currently, there are several ad hoc screening programs being conducted, mainly by the private care providers, few charitable institutes, and a very few public health systems of the state. There is a need of a systematic, nationwide screening program for diabetic retinopathy in India. ARDA holds a great potential in playing a key role in the DR screening in our country, where there is a great mismatch, a very high load of people with diabetes and a significantly less number of ophthalmologists who can do it in person. That's incredible. Thank you, Dr. Rajiv and Dr. Paisan for joining us today and sharing the amazing work you are doing.